Good evening, aviators, for a very special Tuesday event. I hope you are all having a fantastic start to your week wherever you are in the world. I can see that Rockview has me going absolutely crazy with all of the dancing emotes tonight during our pre-show entertainment. Great to see everybody here. Uh, Stray Ada, wonderful to see you. And yes, we do have some updated emotes. I finally finally got round to actually uh, reshuffling some of the emotes so that now, even if you are a follower of the channel, uh, which is always wonderful just to simply have you here as part of the crew, uh, I am always humbled and uh, honoured to be able to share virtual skies with you, that you have some emotes now as well, and for you, my in. in endeared and most amazing supporters and subscribers, uh, you have some additional emotes uh, out now as well. So please enjoy them, uh, complete with an animated emote as well. Uh, Kragers, thank you so much for your resub. 18 months. Wow. <laughs> it's, it's getting on a bit now. Uh, it's, it, it is, seriously, it is regularly difficult for me to believe um, that that we've been doing this for for two years. Like we we've been doing this uh, or just shy of two years. And, and I think I, I'd have to throw to uh, uh, <laughs> uh, thank you very much, uh, Wookie, for being resub as well. Uh, actually, and speaking of, I think we'll have to shout to uh, go across, have to cross and ask uh, Mr. Wookie when we all started this journey together back on Mixer. Back when I thought, back when, back when I was this, I was literally the only flight simulator streamer on an entire platform. And then the platform just literally self-imploded and died. Um, we won't talk about that, you know, something, something crashing and burning. Um, <laughs> but uh, then we made the move over here to Twitch. And since then, we have found an amazing home with such an amazing community together. And it's always wonderful to share the skies with you all. Now, uh, tonight, folks, uh, we do, of course, um, we, are, we are, of course, here. Uh, now, normally, this is uh, Challenge Tuesday uh, episode where we take on landing challenges and more. But it is a special event tonight where we are going to be able to check out um, a... Well, we are, we're still going to be challenged. We are still going to be challenged. Uh, we are going to be challenged, but of a different kind tonight because the wonderful team at Big Radials has come out with their latest aircraft release and they, we are going to be test flying that tonight and we're going to be uh, exploring a bit of the Pacific Northwest and seeing how I go at some water landings because it's been a hot minute since we've done any, so we'll see how we go. Uh, Brown ECHR, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the crew. Great to have you on board. Hope you're having a fantastic Tuesday, wherever you are in the world. Uh, so, folks, yeah, we are going to be checking out the uh, Grumman Goose tonight, which has just been released, as I said, from Big Radials. And we're going to be joined by the uh, uh, special guest of honour as well uh, for the, the chat tonight. We're going to be joined by the amazing uh, Oswookie himself, of course, the, the head and the founder of Big Radial Simulations, uh, as he shares his thoughts and his journey to bring the Goose to life. And... We're going to talk us through some of the cool, nifty little features as well. Brown, ECHR, thank you so much for the sub as well. Awesome. Thank you so much for subbing with your Prime. That is, I uh, thank you for choosing me uh, to sub with your Prime as well. That is awesome. Thank you so much. Welcome to the uh, the gold standard frequent flyer program. Uh, enjoy your emotes and enjoy your extra, uh, extra add-ons as well. So thank you so much. Uh, but yes, so uh, that was probably supposed to be uh, Mr. Wookie's cue to uh, join me in the voice chat, and it seems that he hasn't. Um, so uh, I'm going to whisper at him and say, "Hey, <laughs> do you want to change channels?" Um, and oh, uh, is is that is that a, is that a where where is there a is there a particular cry that we should be expecting to hear from the person who's just joined me? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Wookie with not one, but two E's. Two E's in Wookie. <laughs> I, I think that was one of the first times that we ever chatted online. Um, I made the, uh, uh, the, the unforgivable mistake of only putting one E at the end of Wookie. <laughs> That's 
absolutely unforgivable, you know? I don't know why we're still talking. <laughs> Well, uh, I, I'm hoping, I'm glad that we're still talking because you are um, an amazing creator that is producing all these wonderful aircraft uh, for the sim. Of course, we've uh, seen uh, several of Big Radial's products uh, already come to life. Uh, thanks very much to uh, your work with uh, the uh, the, uh, the new port, uh, 17, and of course the P40 being your first release as well, which is Our amazing. first baby. Um, and neither of those had radials. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I was I was about to talk to you about that because for a company named Big Radial, Big Radials, it would took until the third product before we actually saw a radial yeah, but, engine. <laughs> but come on, we made up for it because we've got two beautiful Pratt and Whitney R985 Wasp Juniors, and wait till you hear the sound because it's just. It's, well, I, I've already been told, it's already been suggested to me that potentially we could make a 10-hour uh, looping ASMR video uh, or yeah, oh, audio yeah. sound loop of just these uh, these Wright Juniors uh, playing. And I, I think there is, I think there's some traction where we could actually talk to about licensing that from you. Yeah, we, we might actually run out of fuel before we get to that 10 hours. <laughs> Unlimited yeah, fuel. Unlimited fuel. We have an unlimited oh, fuel. Unlimited fuel. fuel. Yeah, uh, cheat yeah, mode. Yeah, we have an unlimited fuel option. Remember that. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Cheat mode. So, so we we've got a cheat mode in the goose as well. So <laughs> this is a this is a, a very old vintage aircraft, and if you don't know us yet, um, we love to do aircraft from World War Two era to about Cold War era. Uh, and you know, mostly focusing on aircraft that have radial engines because they're just they're just so gorgeous. They're, they're beautiful. And, well, not only um, do they sound amazing, they also uh, yeah. make sure that they mark their territory um, <laughs> with their, the size of their oil leaks. <laughs> because yeah. that is just pretty bit of thing. Yeah. Um, we're just having a quick look at the the cockpit, and it's funny actually because uh, and and we'll get onto this in a little bit in a little bit as well when when we're actually flying. Um, yeah. Is that this goose cockpit is shall we say not the goose cockpit that I was that I'm used to. <laughs> No, it's not. Um, so again, if you don't know who I am, um, I well, did yeah, the... let's, it was just, actually. You know what? The, for for those of the, who are joining us, uh, perhaps for the first time, and those who may not, may not have uh, talked to you much previously, uh, Mr. Wookie, uh, yeah. feel free to introduce yourself and Big Radials. We'd love to hear more about you and your company. Yeah, so I I started off um, doing development for Microsoft Flight Simulator um, by converting. Uh, FSX aircraft over into the new sim because, you know, it was a brand new sim. It didn't have all of the classic vintage birds that I wanted to fly. Um, and at the time, um, I was uh, starting to become friends with a, another developer who I know had done previous work. And I came across one of their, uh, their old works and I, I said to them jokingly, hey, how about we do this together? And they said, yeah, sure, let's do it. So we converted the old OzX uh, Goose Redux, um, which was itself a an update for the default uh, FSX Goose uh, with uh, 2K textures and all of the, the nice stuff in there. Uh, and I updated it to uh, Microsoft Flight Sim native, so not just a port over, but full native. I updated the cockpit as well because there were so many 2D instruments. I redid all of that. Uh, and so we released that uh, about 18 months ago now. Jeez, time flies. Oh, it does it ever. Um, yeah, so we released that, and um, that was uh, one of the first native uh, freeware uh, aircraft, and we're, we're really happy with that, and we continue to support that. And then um, one of the other developers that I started to get friends with, uh, Dean from DC Designs, mm -hmm. um, said, why don't you do it properly? Why don't you actually make some payware aircraft? And mm. so, yeah, that was that. And we started off with the P-40 uh, because we wanted to get something that was going to be relatively easy, single engine, um, relatively popular uh, warbird um, and you know simple systems again a warbird so it was a it was a good choice um, and we found a, a really good model uh, that we were able to uh, update for our needs uh, and put that out and we, we we got a really good rep 
Um, there it is. Well, there well, she is. Well, well, well. Let me let me caveat that you got a really good rep with the flying public, with the livery creation public. However, uh, oh yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, look, honestly, we, we knew going into this, uh, one, of the, one of the first things that we said, and I know that we didn't deliver on this, um, but one of the first things that, that internally we, we discussed is that it's so important to, to get a community, to establish a community, um, because a developer will essentially live or die by their community. So if you're not supporting your community, if you're not creating um, good aircraft that people want to fly and will keep flying because there's enough meat on the bones uh, to keep flying. doesn't have to be study level. Um, <laughs> well, we, we, the, the, my community knows my, my, my opinion of that word. Yes, um. <laughs> we all know your opinion on that word. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, so we, we knew that we had to do um, – we had to to make aircraft that had that had good UVs. Unfortunately, we just couldn't do that with this uh, with this model. It was a an external model that we bought uh, that was already uh, fully done in in UV and whatever, and it's absolutely perfectly fine for a, a modern workflow where you're using substance or something like that, um, but not so good for third parties trying to trying to make stuff. Mm, uh, yeah, because so, even uh, even sort of working inside, you know, you know Blender and using yeah. Blender's painting or whatever, it still had a, a lot of challenges with masking mm. and stuff. So, um, yeah. but but it was really great to see that you know that 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 you did sort of learn from that, and then um, as yeah, you know, we'll sort of go through a bit of your a bit of your career here, and we'll mm. actually show off the seventeen as well. Um, yeah. You know, so the, the next evolution was uh, was was a bit different, uh, of course, when we saw the seventeen, and and I I initially and I initially thought that this was the oh yes we finally got the first radial and then i i dug a bit deeper and went no no it's not <laughs> it's 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 no, the yeah. it's the r it's the uh the mazda rx engine of the the flights yeah. of the flight well <laughs> you say that but no that's a very different engine mm. um because yes these are a rotary engine but this is not uh, a rotary uh, that's used in an rx7 uh, that's a very very different uh motor uh with this one the um, the cylinders actually rotate around the uh, the crankshaft rather than the crankshaft rotating uh, and pushing the cylinders around. Uh, so it's a it's a very old uh, style of engine. Um, they went through a lot of oil uh, to keep it lubricated, and uh, that, uh, that that castor oil was was not very nice. So that's why. Um, <laughs> The, the pilots, one of the reasons why they wore scars was not only because it was bloody cold, but also so that they could wipe the, the castor <laughs> the oil, oil of everything. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> And, yeah. uh, and and sort of and as I said, yeah, that's what. But that's the great connection, of course. The rotary engines then have with uh, the radials, of course, is the fact that yes. you know radials, you know, they mark their territory by the amount of um, the amount of oil that they lose. Yeah, uh, in some ways, the, the rotary was the was the predecessor to the to the radial. Mm-hmm. Now, of course, that of course brings us uh, to here, and uh, and I just want to sort of uh... go go back mm. because I I just want to show how different because we've got yes. both. All three geese there. Well, well, I was, I was, I was, I was actually about, I was actually geese. They're goose. The, 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 the goose eye. <laughs> no, um, no, they're, they're goose. I've, I've been told by a oh, goose pilot oh, that there okay. is one goose, many, many goose. goose. Oh, yes. there we go, there we go. Uh, so, I, I do just want to quickly, want to quickly just, just before you continue there, because this is yeah. actually a really good opportunity. Because there's a couple of things pops uh, conversations capping up in the in the chat yeah. here. So uh, first off, yeah. Ewald, hello and welcome to the stream. Great to see you, uh, Kiwi and Flight Sim Racing. Great to see you as well. Welcome to the stream. I pure all having a fantastic day, uh, Ewald. Yes, you're mostly using substance. Uh, look, and and uh, Ewald, uh, substance is, is is great. I'm balancing some few financials at the moment, so for me, I'm combining Blender with fo- with, with Photoshop. I am I am mostly in the cult of Adobe. I'm kind of pissed at Adobe that um, it's a that that uh, substance is a creative cloud application, and yet it is not covered by the creative cloud license. A little pissed about that. Um, but anyway, moving on. But uh, <laughs> but um, but uh, Kiwi raised a, a good question before, and, a, and just obviously discussing and covering off the what we just talked about with your history there. 
Um, that you know, and and you're just about to go to this is that we have uh, many goose. Uh, we we have we have not just one goose. We have many goose, uh, right. and of course that you did release as as you talked about your your first release for Microsoft Flight Simulator was actually a uh, not a port over. You know, it, as a as a sort of you know a migration and a and a, and a rebuild from the ground up, but you know using a, an existing FSX uh, sort of template um, of the old Microsoft Flight Sim slash OSX family goose uh, which of course was released as freeware to the community and is an outstanding aircraft um, but and a lot of people have, uh, have asked the question and I saw this a lot on the forums when you announced that you were doing a payware goose um, why do one when there's already your freeware one available because a lot of people are saying well and 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 and, and I suppose in some ways I'm, I am going to you know, draw a few parallels to another developer shortly. Um, but yeah, so so why, why what was the thought process behind, and, and we will just have a quick look at the old Goose here before we go into the new one. Um, what sort of uh, was the driver behind you taking this, this uh, quite frankly, an iconic, um, mm. you know, part of the, the flight simulator, Microsoft flight simulator, at least 10 and beyond, and beyond community, and recreating it, you know, as a completely new aircraft. Yeah, well, I mean, if you've ever flown our our freeware goose, you know that it is a lovely plane, but it's starting to show its age. Um, there's only so much you can do when upraising um, old um, uh, geometry, old models, mm-hmm. um, and if you want to do uh, anything really high detailed, well, then you need a a, a really high detailed base. Um, yeah, look at all of those liveries. Um, because I love this one so much, and I hope that you do. Uh, little Dipper for our. Um, so, so it's just I'm just totally going to steal some of uh, Wookie's thunder do. here and say. Uh, so, so for the, those who may not know, I am also a texture artist for Flight Sim. I I do contract work for a number of payware developers, but I do a lot of freeware development, development, and a lot of con- and a lot of um, commission work. Uh, this was one that I originally created for uh, the FSX Goose. Uh, this is Little Dipper uh, from uh, Microsoft for, from. Uh, uh, Disney's planes, fire and rescue, uh, and uh, when uh, Wookie released uh, the um, the updated goose for Microsoft Flight Simulator, I went back and I remastered my textures, and and it was funny actually for me, and and, and this goes into a journey we're all going to we're going to talk to you about with your journey as a developer, um, how far I've come as a texture artist comparing what I started with and what I, I looked at that. as in the FSX, the first FSX release, because this is one of the first liveries I ever released um, to what I like create now, what I work on now. Um, mm. So yeah, so I just want to quickly plug that. My content's available at flightsim.to, exclusive content and Gumroad, available commission. Right, and back to the developer of the hour. So uh, working from a sort of a, a, a well, the, the model for this one is 2000 and. 2005 because it was the original FSX model Mm. it's the original uh, FSX model and FSX released in 2006 I believe Mm. so you know we're we're sitting so okay you know when we released it that was 18 months ago we're we're now in 22 so that was 2020 so that was 14 years old Um, and if you know anything about um, game um, and even just computers in general 14 years is an eternity (laughs) so there's so much more that you can do there's so much more detail that you can do uh and we just we really love the goose uh i mean that's why i converted it in the first place is is you know the passion for these vintage aircraft and i love amphibious aircraft i love the flying boats um they really recall just an a, a bygone era of romance and adventure um so yeah we wanted we wanted a, a new modern not not a modern interior but a new modern um goose add-on uh for this new modern flight simulator so and you can see the difference just looking at those two thumbnails yeah. you could see the difference and 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 that's sort of part of it is is that obviously so this is so you know although the you know as you as you said it was it was a it was a it was still a, a native model it was still based on an original FSX model which is you know which yeah. is you know fourteen years old, um yeah. so so where are so so tell us tell us more about you know so so what was the 
you know, so what are some of the differences that we're going to sort of expect to see? Like, I, I know that uh, Kiwi already pointed out the, the two blades mm. versus the three, and that's obviously to do with yep. the fact that these are the uh, original Wasp Juniors uh, rather yeah. than the uprated engines that were uh, featured in the later in their life. Yeah, the, 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 the three blade actually came um, uh, to the best of my knowledge, and I could be wrong, so I, I don't like to say it never did, but to the best of my knowledge, um, the in-service uh, Goose only ever had a two blade. Uh, three blades were done um, uh, as a third party um, uh, addition, same as changing um, the, the static uh, pods to be uh, retractable pods uh, and the gear from being a hand wound gear to be electrically driven. Um, so we are talking about original no mods. So, and not only that, but we're also talking about a military variant. Um, so the military doesn't pay for comfy seats and for uh, sound installation. <laughs> <laughs> so she loud and 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 i guess that was like one of the first things that that, that struck me is that there there is that more um and, and it goes to the fact that, you know, this was originally conceived as a, as a, as a military um, supply and patrol aircraft. And so I think it's actually an air, air sea rescue aircraft, I think, was it? Or was, original, it, or was it? No, it was an executive transport originally, wasn't correct. it? Correct. Yeah, yeah but the Goose, the Goose 21, the original Goose 21 was originally designed as a water taxi for rich businessmen in New York to go between uh, their, their island home and their office. <laughs> that, that, that's uh, right yeah the, the, the wealthy the wealthy coming through yeah that's right yeah uh so you know straight out of the factory it had mm. lovely appointments and lovely cushy interiors and and insulation and everything was really nice and uh then world war ii happened and all of that got ripped out um <laughs> because you know utility yeah exactly because so. utility lightweight and all the rest of it uh so yeah. we, and, and and folks i do want to encourage you and flossing racing i was just going to get back to you get to your question in a second and folks for those of you who are watching as i said we are joined by the developer especially if you're just joining us uh we devo- de- bleh, bleh. we're joined by oz uh the head and the founder uh, and the lead developer of big radials uh, who brought us this goose here uh please if you have any questions for the developer that you'd like to ask anything uh, about the goose uh about his work about his history about how about how he does things uh please feel free to ask me the chat and by being active in the chat uh you will be going into uh, a chance to win yourself a free copy of this goose tonight uh so flight sim racing asks um if the the model is from uh, f6 uh are uh, yours limited with the new msfs 2020 uh and so i don't know uh, what it means by limited by MS, mfs uh, MS, well, uh, the, the newest flight sim there's i i i, I guess SSX? yes yeah there, there, there are no limitations compared to FSX. Um, so, uh, you know, if, if, we're, if we're talking about just a straight up geometry count, you know, I think the old goose had maybe 50,000 um, quads or, or tries. Uh, this has at least twice that, if not four times that. And, it, and it's uh, and just from uh, I just did a quick before just go did a quick just to make sure it loaded in the sim and uh, it's smooth as silk even in an airport yeah. I was expecting it to be busy at so yeah. um, I, I I guess flight sim racing uh, just something to be aware of is that there, there's 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 two goose or there, there's two goose that, that, that we are talking about here of course um, the one that's just been released is the brand new completely ground up everything from scratch um, yeah. one for Microsoft Flight Simulator um, the original one the the previous one that was released not original I'm not going to say original but the previous one that was released um, mm. was a it was a it was a carryover from the year old FSX days um, and these yeah. are two fun they they may wear the same goose they may their names may have the same name they may trace the same lineage uh in terms of their real life gigs aircraft but their virtual cousins uh they are not they're, they're completely not related i don't even think we could call yeah. them step siblings um no there were no shit assets between them at all. no it, and and that's a and that's something that, that i really sort of pick up because i know that you know there there's the you know some developers can be i'm not going to say lazy but can you know reuse stuff where possible but uh yeah it's really great to hear that you know no you you've taken on board the the you know, the challenge uh and also the opportunity to grow this yeah. aircraft uh independently uh i see that uh, astro is saying that he's hoping to get this on xbox so will we be yes. seeing this on xbox you bet your baby, uh, and um, I don't want to be salty because I don't know <laughs> what what other developers' business is like. So, so I, I don't want to throw shade. 
um, <laughs> because I don't know the full story. <laughs> Uh, however, I do know because we don't use um, anything external, we're using 100% native uh, code, um, we don't have any problems with any of our aircraft on Xbox. Uh, and they are all really good on frames uh, and really good on, on performance overall. Oh, that, okay. uh, that's, that's fantastic to hear. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So we're not expecting any, any issues from, uh, from Xbox. Uh, I sent Microsoft this morning um, a copy of the Goose for their testing team. Um, they said that it is with their content manager and they will let me know when it is in his pipeline, mm-hmm. which could be anywhere from four to 12 months. 12 weeks. <laughs> hey, at least they talk to you as a dev. My dev application is still sitting in reviewing hell and has been now okay. for longer than this sim has been out. Um mm. Uh, okay. Does this? Does this? Oh, so that, I think that actually might answer the question that Commander Dylan just had. Was uh, does this aircraft use a lot of WASM? Uh, so no, no so WASM. No, no it. WASM. So you don't need no stinking WASM to make this aircraft work. Uh, <laughs> that's pretty awesome. Now, um, on that, what I did want to um, to to say and and give a shout out is the the flight model, one hundred percent native modern um, flight model. And it was done by a fantastic developer called Codename Jack. Now, if you know that name, I was uh, say it sounds sounds familiar. Yeah, he did the wonderful DC Design Steerman, and is also doing the impending, mind blowing Concord. And he is a pretty awesome dude. Yes. Uh, yeah, I, I was going to say, I, I, yeah, I, you know, I think I know of a couple of other projects I think he's had his hands in. So, yeah, that that is great to hear, and it's great to hear that you've got, you know, got that support coming through. That's even awesome. Uh, and uh, so, Walkabout was saying that he's saying that he needs a turbo version. Uh, unfortunately, Walkabout, I feel that you might be disappointed with this one. I'm afraid. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I, I kind of have a soft spot for the turbo goose, Ooh. but it's very unlikely. Um, because whilst a Turbo Mallard and a Turbo Albatross kind of look okay because they have, they're a bigger aircraft to begin with. So having the, the turbine engines uh, on there don't look too bad, but the Turbo Goose with the those PT6s sitting so, <laughs> so far. far. Like they, yeah. they would sit, they would almost be at the nose. Like that'd be huge. They, they, they sit halfway towards the nose. So see where the prop is now. Uh, the space between the prop and the nose, it extended out half that distance <laughs> at least. Uh, and that's where the uh, the turbo sits. So no, it, very, very unlikely. If we were to do any mods to the Goose, we might do a modern interior um, because that's relatively uh, easy to do. Now, I don't want to get anyone's hopes up because we have a lot of aircraft on our wall of cool. Uh, and, you know, it's, it's, what do you want? Do you, do you want a modern cockpit in the goose or do you want something from our wall of cool? Well, you and, know, and you can't tr- get both. trust me, folks, on this one, having knowing some of the aircraft that are on Big Radio's wall of cool, uh, you want stuff from the wall of cool more than you want a modern interior. Trust me. I on this want one. stuff on the wall of cool. <laughs> Um, I've so, done a modern interior for a goose. I, I don't need to do <laughs> you that. You don't need to do that one again. Uh, I was going to say, as Astro, you're adding it to your hangar with the, w- along with Big Radar's P40 and Newport 17. That is amazing. Thank you very much for supporting this Thank amazing you, new dev. Thank you very much for that. Uh, so, all right. Well, I think that this is uh, enough time for now. I think we should uh, potentially start, uh, probably start, uh, actually maybe try starting this aircraft that might be a good start so um folks if you're wanting to join us uh on a flight tonight if you have the as i said a couple things for tonight uh we are going to be giving away uh a um 
we are we are going to be giving away a copy of this goose. We are going to be giving away a copy of the goose um, at some point during the stream tonight. Probably at some point during towards the end of the flight tonight. Uh, but if you're wanting to join us on our little flight, we're going to be taking off from Renton in Seattle, and we're going to be making our way north up towards uh, Friday Harbour. So uh, your exclamation mark flight in the chat for all the flight details you're going to need if you're going to do that one. Uh, all right, all right. Now let's see how we go here. So let's go with that. Let's go just do, 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 do. Okay, let's get a couple of things set going and see if I can get this stuff working tonight. Uh, all right, let's go and go to where are we? Now, this is actually going to be the first time <laughs> that I'm flying the goose with my Honeycomb Alpha Bravo yoke and throttle set and my uh, my, my proper pedals because during development all i was using was my xbox uh, <laughs> one controller and my bravo throttle set <laughs> right so this so, could be this could be interesting for everybody tonight folks this could be uh, no it's it is so beautiful she is so beautiful to fly i i can't emphasize that enough now the only thing that you need to be like i said there's two things that you need to be aware of one do not slam on your brakes you will go nose over <laughs> this is accurate. Okay, the second one is there is a reason why uh, the manual says uh, to not run the the goose uh, above, what was it, 33 and a half uh, manifold pressure for more than five minutes. We've modelled issues <laughs> in the engine. So if you, I... if you run over... Over five minutes, over the max suggested MP, that engine is starting to is going to run rough for a while. If you continue to abuse it over the entire flight, it doesn't reset the counter, but for the entire flight, if you continue to abuse it, <laughs> that engine will fail and you will have a, a big black smoky mess. <laughs> um, so, yeah. I am looking forward to this because uh, I know that the team uh, at um, uh, the team uh, at Flying Iron have been doing something very very similar uh, with their Spitfire, and it's one of the it was it was very um, awkward to note when I uh, took one out for a flight one day, and I was like, oh, why is there a giant trail of smoke behind me? <laughs> Uh, this is rather awkward. Um, mm -hmm. So, all right, let me just quickly set this up. All right, so let's click on the... Okay, so folks, as I said, join us at Renton Municipal Airport if you wanted to join us for the flight. I'm going to click the Fly Now button, uh, and I'm going to see if... Uh, let's see, because, of course, Nightbot is not behaving itself tonight like it should be. Um, let's see. Another thing that I'll say about the goose is that she is so lovely in in the roll and the takeoff. You you just need that just that little bit of rudder input, mm -hmm. and then as the tail comes up, and then she just gracefully lifts off the ground. Yeah, Jack has just done an amazing job, and then the water landings, the water taxiing, <laughs> getting up onto the step. Oh, it's just gorgeous. It, Sorry. It's, yeah. No. No. But this is this is one of the things, I, and I'm really grateful that you you've managed to get get, get some time and give some time to us because I know it is it is getting quite late here in Australia to actually uh, join us for this because. Um, yeah, it, hearing a developer's passion when talking about this, I, I had, we heard the same when we heard DC Designs when they joined us for the the F15 yeah. Uh, yeah. to be able to sort of uh, you know talk about that because it, it for me, flight simulation gives so much and you know being passionate about your product is, is to me shows how much love and care and development goes into a product as well. It's not just here um, to uh, to just make money like certain unscrupulous members of our extended flight simulation development co developer community are like. Um, Commander Dylan, uh, so um, the rented scenery, see, I, I'm going to 100%, I have to 100% disagree with you uh, with that one or this one. So this is the new Renton scenery. Um, and sneak peek, by the way, folks, my review video for that is rendering right now. Uh, so that should be on my YouTube channel very shortly. Um, I find the complete opposite. Uh, I my frames are butter smooth here at the uh, at the new scenery. Um, 
So yeah, I I, do, I have heard that um, VR users, however, uh, are suffering. Um, but for myself, as a track IR user, I have not had any issues. Um, so all right, let's now. Uh, now I did uh, quickly note that I saw that uh, you have your full set of checklists, which is awesome to I see. Do. Um, yes, we have a complete checklist there now. Um, we will update this so that you can do um, full um, co-pilot uh, checklists. Most of it should work, but if it doesn't, we'll fix it in post. We'll, we'll fix it in post. Okay, that's all right. That's all right. Well, this is you know, again part of what we found. This uh, that's not going to lie, Rockview. That is a slight concern for me. That I feel like uh, we're a little cramped because yeah, I'm. <laughs> I have a funny feeling I'm really going to hope that that's going to be an invisible uh, 172 or just a phantom because this could be fun uh, question for the developer would the goose be okay to fly uh, with a VKB gunfighter and verbal throttle um, they, well yeah. I mean flight sim racing uh, flying tonight uh, I have not set up my honeycomb yet so I am still flying with my Hotaz Warthog so I guess you're about to find out Look, every every aircraft in in flight simulator can be flown with everything from an Xbox One controller, which is what my development partner uses, um, to you know full setup and kit like we have with the the amazing honeycomb stuff. And I I just can't say how much I love my honeycomb stuff. <laughs> I waited for so long. Uh, a fun story. I'm going to diverge a little bit. I got the the full honeycomb set, uh, and it arrived, and my wife went. Haven't you already got like a, a full full setup? And I went, yes, but that's for fighter planes. I need to, I need to, I need to test uh, the, the common equipment as as well that everyone else has. I need it for testing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um... I love my wife. I was I was about to say how, how many times did uh, did uh, did you did you have to include the phrase love I I love you I love you dear I love you <laughs> uh, no 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 she just gives me the people's eyebrow and she goes okay <laughs> now I also have to say that uh, I'm loving the fact that I actually have to wobble the pump to be able to get my pressure up True to um, and again like this is. Uh, okay, I, I do have to ask a question though. For those who perhaps didn't want to go through this process, yes. uh, can they can can they can they control E? Uh, yes, we we support all cheat modes. Okay, all right. Mixture is set to cut off. Check prime. Now I uh, now I got the hint that there's no prime. You actually have to prime by turning with the throttles. Yes, and that's that's accurate to the aircraft. Right, and we're going to go both. Now, uh, before you start your engines, you might want to get a good look um, at your engines uh, and be able to press with the mouse the starter button. Uh, because if you use the actual instruments uh, and the buttons inside of the cockpit, then you will be treated to a proper startup. Oh, so, so, hang on, what do, I need, what do I need to do? So, hold down the starter, and you'll see that the uh, blades will slowly start to turn, so you might want to get rid of your checklist for the moment. Yep. Just minimise that, get it out of the way. Now I press the starter. Yep, now you can press the starter, and you can hold that down, and you'll see that she should slowly go through about six to eight blades, mm -hmm. and you get the starter sound. Uh, and then if you've done everything right, it should catch. There she goes. RPM's rising. There you go. All right. Now, if you do the control E or if you use um, hardware buttons to start her, uh, unfortunately, that bypasses our custom code and goes direct to um, the, the flight sim systems, which is, is fine. Um, but you don't get that lovely starter sequence. So right. if you do want to like have I didn't that catch, full experience, let me just try that again. So yeah. So as soon as she catches, make sure that you put uh, mixture to full. There we go. That's what I missed. All right. Well, now you're not going to have any fuel then, are you? All right. Yeah, that would have been awkward. There you go. All right. Now let's roll a uh, right engine. Now you want to bring the 
extension. Um, a little bit, because you want to hear the symphony. That's it. Yeah, so bring it back down to around about 550 RPM and just listen to that symphony. Just to say that he uh, just sat in the cockpit for a good half an hour with the, <laughs> with the engines running at idle. <laughs> as, as, I said, as I said, like, I, I'm, I'm seriously thinking that we could do an ASMR of uh, of this one, and it would just work. Uh, I think we could do it. I, I think we should talk about a business idea for that. Um, <laughs> All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to, yeah, I think you're, you're right, Commander Dylan, is we're going to try doing the, uh, the, 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 the pushback. Um, all right, now. Oh, is this a click and drag for the window? Uh, no, you need to unlock it first. Oh. So down, down the bottom on the right-hand side, you'll see a little um, toggle, a little white toggle on the <laughs> bottom of the window. Okay, can I also just um, say that I love the fact that you actually have a working lock on that window. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's small things like this that I have to say for, to you as a developer, I'm really impressed by these little things. It's the, it's the fact that I actually have to unlock the window to open the window. Oh, yeah. Like, that's cool. All right, now let's see if we can uh, cheat a little bit with a bit of a pushback. Uh, uh, what are you? What are you saying there, uh, Rafi? What are you? What are you? What are you saying there? <laughs> all right. Whoop. Okay. There we go. Uh, let me just do that. Okay. All right. Strap yourselves in for this one. Uh, speaking of folks, by the way, it's a total bit of again, a bit of self uh, promotion here for a second. Uh, I actually released a new design at my Redbubble store. Uh, very much themed around. Uh, uh, Challenge Tuesdays. Now I know yeah, not to taxi very nice for you. Yep, I was gonna say, and I got to remember to not t be very gentle with the brakes, otherwise yeah. this proboscis is going to end up on my nose. Correct. All right. And you will fail flight school. <laughs> All right, so what I want to show off, is because, of course, this aircraft, of course, is an amphibian, uh, and Renton is, uh, as well as being the starting point of all 737 MAXs uh, when they first, uh, on their first journey, uh, it also services uh, Kenmore Air, the, the venerable Kenmore Air from Microsoft Flight Simulator fame. Um, oh, my God, we need to fix our LODs. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, so we're going to try the the uh, dis uh, taxing this down the water ramp here that Kenmore Air use. We'll see how this uh, tra transition goes. Um, just give, 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 give the throttles a spin around. I mean, I had thought about that. You're not going to lie there. That will work, and um, because I just got out of it. <laughs> I'm just loving that the sound set you're using for this is. Awesome. It like, is, isn't it? I, 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 I thought that the, the Flying Iron Spitfire has the best sound set, but I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that you two are tying at the moment. Well, I tell you what, doing, doing the sound work is pretty bloody hard. So, you know, kudos, kudos to the guys at Flying Iron. They do a fantastic job with their sound sets. And uh, if you're comparing my amateur work to, uh, to to their lovely stuff, then I'll take that. All right, let's see how this transition goes. Yeah. Well, <laughs> oh, that is oh, but it's self-righted exactly how it's supposed to. And that's exactly actually what uh, a goose is, uh, and most seaplanes are supposed to do. If they go into that attitude in water, they're supposed to then self-right. 
So uh, I got the same thing happening to yep. me. <laughs> oh, that 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 you you're right. That lod bottle needs to be fixed. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's You're amazing. Right. We had some reports about that, and the one thing that we didn't do. Uh, I mean, we work so hard on the lods, but the one thing that we didn't do is that. Oh, it looks like we've got. Have we got some um, some some geo issues in the water here? Uh, I that possibly. I think so. Uh, Minecraft goose. It is a little bit. Uh, right, it let's... is very much a Minecraft goose. <laughs> I also love the fact that it's sort of yeah, it's 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 throttle and a lot of rudder to sort of be able to turn this. This is awesome. Oh yeah. Yeah. Now, um, if if you if you don't want to inverted commas do it right, uh, oof. Come on, baby. Yeah. <laughs> I just got hit by the um, by the the, the geo glitch. Let's get out here up. Uh, yeah, if, if you don't want to, in photo commas, do it right, then you can find our cheat notes and you can turn on a hip water runner. <laughs> Sorry, that was that was that lawn bottle was priceless. Um, yeah. Welcome, Razor. Great to see you. Uh, every seven three seven was built Renton. Okay, okay, th okay. Th there you go. I was I suspected as much. I wasn't one hundred percent sure. Um, so that's actually a good point. So Commander Dylan asked the question of does it have a water rudder? So the real aircraft, I don't believe, did. However, no. speaking okay. of cheat modes, there's this really nifty little hatch that I discovered, uh, yeah. and look what seems to be inside it. Or oh, probably better turn my hands on. Uh, to my gens on before I forget. Uh, so this is for those who can't live without their GPSs. Uh, so it looks like you got a G500 in there, and we also yep. have a water rudder. I love how it's called water helper as well. That's kind of yes. cool. Yes. Uh, yes. And we, we want to make people feel okay. We're <laughs> we're not we're not cheat shaming. You know we're <laughs> we're all for for equal opportunity. Uh, flight simming, you know, if we we don't uh, we don't want to spoil anyone's fun. So if uh, if you need a water rudder, and look, look, I, I joke, but if you don't have a, a full setup and you and you don't have pedals and you don't have like a full quadrant or, or or whatever, then you know having that water rudder helps massively because you can't do the um, the differential thrust that you can do if you've got um, separate uh, throttle quadrant. You so know? that's so, that's actually sort of, and, and that's actually really welcome to hear because as as much as we love our, our you know our you know our authenticity, it is also yeah. about being a um, an encompassing and a and a, 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 a welcoming community that supports flight simmers of all levels. So, yeah. all right, now that we've uh, got that, so we're going to hide that because we'll we'll show off some of the other features and switches on that a little bit later on. Uh, so let's let me close the hatch. All right, so let's try and do the takeoff here. Uh, Augie, hello and welcome to the stream. Uh, is this yes? That was a question. Yes, it absolutely is. This aircraft is coming to Xbox. Yes, it most certainly is. As soon as Microsoft uh, test it and release it, you can buy it. <laughs> we want you to have it. Oh, she bounces. She get lifts up off the step fairly quickly. Oh. She's just so beautiful, isn't she? Beautifully, she just trips out so nicely. <laughs> All right, let's see. All right, let's uh, check our... All right, so check our manifolds, which is good, flat controls. And now once you set and, and organized, you can uh, have a look at the throttle and mixture quadrant and you'll notice on the, uh, the left hand side of that quadrant there are um, markings for rich, 
auto rich, auto lean, and lean cutoff. They ah. are probably some. Yes, yeah, yeah. So we can, and they are all coded and modeled. Yes. Excellent. So let's uh, move those back to auto rich. Yep. Done. Because we will be fairly, sticking fairly low for our flying here today. Uh, yeah, because we've got to enjoy this beautiful, amazing scenery here. Uh, but does <laughs> so so yeah uh, so 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 Master Brite is asking, does it have a cup holder? Because of course we know that's what's important to uh, <laughs> to, 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 to some flyers. Does it have well, a cup holder? Yeah, funny funny story about cup holders. I, I, I went to a um, a car dealership with a with a good buddy of mine. <laughs> uh, he was checking out this really really fancy uh, uh, aircraft. And I got in it and had one quick look around and got out and went, nah, and was quite disgusted. And the, the salesman goes, why, sir, what's wrong with it? No cup holder. <laughs> uh, no, the, the goose does not have any cup holders. Uh, uh, it doesn't even have an ashtray because it has a big window, so you would stub the <laughs> We, we'd put our stogie out the uh, out the window. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, <laughs> so with another really... Uh, so Flight Sim Racing is saying, uh, Flight Sim hardware is so expensive that if you want to set up for every type aircraft, you would need to take a mortgage to afford it. Um, I would suggest probably you probably need two mortgages to be able to afford it there, Flight Sim Racing, if, because let's be honest, you'd need something for your fast jets, you'd need something for your warbirds, you need something for your... Uh, old school GA, some of your modern GA, some of your multi-engine, so yeah. Um, though I, I do believe, I think I might have a second solution that maybe there is a cup holder, but I think it might be hidden away somewhere else that we'll see when we get later on. And uh, yes, in answer your question, we will be doing a water landing. Well, hopefully we'll be doing a couple of water landings, actually. Um, so will the anchor work over the Mariana Trench? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I'm going to guess I don't think it normally would, so I'm going to say probably not. Uh, but, you know, interesting question. <laughs> um, does it have a CD changer? So, you know, I, unfortunately, uh, I don't think it even has a, uh, a vinyl record player, unfortunately, uh, Kiwi. Oh, it's got an 8-track. <laughs> and, 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 and we can get an 8-track in here at some point. Uh, first mod, first mod to come, a cup holder inside the secret hatch. <laughs> <laughs> well, Shit. you know, um, so what do you got? Uh, so use your 16 to get the 1600 is a really fantastic set and and uh not gonna lie like i in in my as of course as many um as many of you know of course you know i am very fortunate that i get to work in this space um well i'm supposed to work in this space for my real job uh i used to not as much anymore but what that we actually used to use t1600 16000 as our test um controls uh which we use to from when we were sort of creating content creating scenarios so absolutely it is a great set to have i use the rudder pedals that go with that set for quite a number of years um uh, so, uh, space sims yeah you're right you're right there as well uh <laughs> Uh, you, yes, we are flying your favourite livery. I was thinking of your, you, Belgiode, when I was selecting the liveries. Hello and welcome to the stream. Good morning. Good morning. I hope the coffee is strong today for you, sir. Uh, we are sort of flying over the... I think this is actually... I think it's Microsoft's campus around here somewhere, I think, if I mm. vaguely remember my flying my time out at Renton. Yeah, one of the... Oh, actually, no, I think this is one of the campuses around here. Um, afraid it doesn't have a long enough. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't think anybody has a long enough, uh, a long enough anchor to hit there. I'm just loving this sound of these engines. This is awesome. Right. Now, of course, um, being the old school aircraft that it has, am I seeing a Sperry autopilot there? You are. Yeah. The idea that isn't looking at is the helicopter. Uh, so you can't select your desired heading, but that will be fixed in a future update. Uh -huh. However, uh, yes, that will do elevator, aileron, and rudder. 
Oh wow! So it's it's your it's your basic for early generation oh, yeah. um, Sperry autopilot, which is basically set the aircraft attitude and then hope and keep an eye on it. Uh, so Correct. This is so, folks. <laughs> if you're thinking that this is going to be an aircraft where you can set it flying for four, for four hours and walk away from it and uh, do something else, you will be sorely disappointed. I'm afraid. <laughs> hey, Nova, do you know what our uh, our number one catchphrase is? A big radius. <laughs> Now, hang on. Is this the one that you're allowed to say to ev- the one to say to everybody else, or the one that Microsoft make you say? Oh no! <laughs> you can say really me. Uh, so I, I, I seem to remember it's called Fly the Damn Plane. Uh, That's right. Which is, I, I have to admit, it's, I think, the greatest motto for any flight sim development company. I think it really, really is. Now, I'm just... Yeah, I... I it's it's funny how an aircraft like this. We, we, it, so I, I know how a lot of um, uh, 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 some members of our extended flight simulation family seem to equate you know uh, 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 being a challenge to the the number of electronic and computer systems that are that are in their aircraft that they interact with. Um, and I, and I know that, unfortunately, some of them send, tend to look down their nose, as it were, at, uh, at those of us who fly in more uh, vintage, vintage classic aircraft. But the, the, the fact that you actually have to be hands on the aircraft, you have to know so much about the aircraft, and you actually have to do a lot more, be a lot more active about monitoring things like your manifold pressures and your RPMs to make your engines run smoothly is something that is i think very much underrated and i think and, and it really always impresses me when developers like yourself and wing 42 for example um uh, oh to take the time <laughs> to to really invest in in, in modeling those features to yeah. the point where it's uh, this is an aircraft that that requires work you know you Correct. you know you 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 absolutely you know you absolutely can trim it out I know. So we've got the, the the rudder, you know, the rudder trim is animated as well. So I'm sort of adjusting right. my rudder trim down here, and I can see it animated through here. Um, yeah. I uh, and I you have, you have your tail wheel castering as well. So mm-hmm. there's a there's yep. a lot here. Now I, I have to ask, what is yes. the big red switch for? No, no, okay, not the fire extinguisher. I know that one. There's one here oh, with the red okay. light there. I, I'm curious about this one because it's like, yeah. do I do I press it, folks? Is the question. <laughs> That one there is to engage your Sperry autopilot. Right, okay. <laughs> so you click, hold, drag it down, and that will engage the Sperry. All right, now let's, let's see if I can do horrible things with the autopilot for a second here. Uh, all right, so let's... Yeah, okay, let's check my other on. Okay. The beautiful thing is she just trims out and you don't really need that because i'm sitting here now fully trimmed out on about 500 feet above you Mm. above you and just see your lights in in front of me Mm. Uh, and i'm literally just got a single finger on the yoke just making little little adjustments to stay on course but otherwise everything else is set Well, it didn't throw me into a nosedive like a Sobo's one does. Um, <laughs> so this works. This is good. But you, you're right. I, I, I can. But that's what I like about this is that you know I do have that option. But I'm, I'm quite comfortable because you're right. It just, it just, it, it really does just trim out really, really nicely. A little bit of rudder trim, a little bit of aileron trim, and she's just. I, I won't say purring like a kitten because she's more like roaring at me. But you know, it's a yeah. beautiful roaring sound that I'm hearing here. <laughs> Yeah, I to get these sounds to, to mesh in properly and, and to get them them balanced on, on left and right. And mm. I know that I haven't done a perfect job, but I think I've done a good job. Well, as I was saying, you know, just like so far, it's just it's it's a and and, and I I just I'm lo- I'm just I'll just be honest with you, so I'm just loving the feeling of this like this it's the sound it's the fact that i'm you know i'm controlling this aircraft and and i can see that you can see and hear that you know you you can see that the passion that went into development for this um and just making it so (laughs) and my little front hatch opens that's cool 
All the doors open, dude. Go down in there. Get, get your 360 controller out and, and go down in there. Yeah, I, I don't know if my... Uh, yes, I have to... that opens. Yes. And... I, I haven't actually locked it so that you can't open it during flight, but okay. yes, it still opens. Okay, all right. We'll, we'll do that for when we land. Um, okay. And... We've got our Spartan cabin at the back here. And I can yep. see click points at the back, so uh, yep. we'll check those out when we get to uh, do some water landings a little bit later on. Yep. Um, so we've got a few more questions coming in uh, through Ooh. the chat here. So let's uh, pick this one up here. Let me just put on a, a nice view here. and uh, Let me just do a little uh, bit of a uh, bubble uh, There we go. Yeah, because um, was in commander. Uh, yes, yes, it was. Uh, Mojave High is sort of like flying. It has the AP works, but you should keep your hand on the wheel. I mean, that's a that's a valid one there. Um, Passenger is being a uh, being a tour of the uh, Aber cockpit before takeoff. There's a dog and an engineer. Um, this <laughs> makes it, you know, the, 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 the person explains the engineer is there to make the flight make sure the flight computers are doing what they're supposed to be doing. The dog is there to make sure the engineer doesn't touch anything. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure that's how like Airbus and uh, and, and Boeing work these days. That's for sure. And Razor, I 100 agree with you with that one. The, the C130. I still re I remember when that 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 announcement was made by Milviz, and here we are, ten years later, we still don't have a C130. Also, can I just just worry with the subject because I'm a little not that I'm bitter or anything, but I just like to point out that Milviz uh, recently. Um, made uh, an announcement that they were bringing their ATR to Microsoft Flight Simulator, yet they didn't announce they needed to do a Kickstarter for it. And I'm just going to let that <laughs> one walk away. I'm just going to walk away from that one. Um, yes, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. What I, an absolute... <laughs> that, was, yeah. that was a I show. was a member of the x -Plane community at that time, and I was a beta tester for Milviz for their for their uh, transition over to X-Plane, and that did not go down well with the community. That was... The, the thing that got me the most about it was that it was a year before he publicly released screenshots showing it modelled and the systems working in SIM. So all the justifications that he gave that, that he needed to do stuff for the SIM was like, it, that's, that's complete horseshit. <laughs> Absolute. <laughs> so, Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Anyway, anyway, we're gonna we're gonna not be nice with that. But yes. I actually. Yes. But speaking of developers, yeah. though, um, and 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 of course, we talked before about how um, this is uh, you know so you know, obviously yeah this is your this is your you know, not your first payware release, but you know this is a payware release essentially of a aircraft you previously released for free. Yes. I, I, you know, we know it's not the same. Yeah, you know, we we know it's a completely new model yep. versus a modified model. Um, and I, I know there had been some concern in the community, uh, and, and you kind of mentioned this already, um, but there had been some concern expressed in the community um, that there, that perhaps with you making uh, this payware rendition of the Goose, um, would you then be um, like withdrawing the uh, the freeware one? Would you stop supporting the freeware one? Because yeah. um, very recently, in fact, the last two weeks, um, we saw another previously freeware developer yep. Um, yep. who had their uh, their their first major you know premium you know, uh, freeware release, which was the same path that you took. They took a a, a very well established, very popular. FSX model, um, you know, modified it and brought it into Microsoft Flight Simulator. Um, they then went the payware route with that same aircraft, but but they did a, again did what you've done. They they they've done a reimagining re version. Uh, they called it a uh, I think I don't know what they call it, enhancement or a Redux or whatever they called it. Um, but then they pulled the freeware one from availability. So yeah. I, I guess I, I know you kind of already alluded to this, and I, but we've had quite a few users, you know, viewers join us since yeah. then. So let's. I'd like to discuss with you. Um, yeah. Is that a, is that a, is that a valid concern that the community has had for, with with your announcements and your now and now your your release of the new goose? Yeah. Look, 
I'm actually good friends with the with the guys at, at Got Friends. Um, you know, we all sort of started this journey together, and we've learned a lot uh, from each other. And um, what a business decides to to do is what what they decide to do. I can understand um, from the community's point of view that you know where you go from something that was freeware to something that is payware, um, and particularly when you know the, the the freeware version is is no longer then available. I can understand that there's there's a certain level of, of friction um, that can come from that and and the level of concern. Um, but what we kind of need to understand, um, oh, it's it's really hard. Look, I'll I'll, I'll just talk about my position because that's all I can really talk about. Yep. No, we, which is, and that's um, and that's what it is. We, we're not here to pass judgment on 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 another developer and and what they've chosen to to do. Uh, it's yeah. it's about you know the, as I said, the community is concerned that you know would, would this aircraft no longer with the free you know the original your previously released free one will that no longer be available? Will it no longer be supported now that you now have a, a payware baby to look after? Yeah, well, I've said for some time that we're not going to be doing any updates to the free ones. I've said that. I've got been very very clear on that. There'll be no uh, flight model updates. It is what it is. We'll be further uh, updates to the uh, to the modelling. Uh, again, it is what it is. Uh, we will. I can't. I can't withdraw it from uh, from distribution. Right. Um, that's just the decision that I'm making. Um, but I'm not going to be doing anything more to it. And I've been very very clear for for, for many months now. Uh, we will, uh, if there if there are sim updates that break the freeware goose, then we'll look at that and as soon as we're able. I can't release it to the community um, to to continue to update because because reasons and and copyright is is one of them. Um, and yeah, look, and I now have a have a payware uh, goose. Now that said, yes, we're a business, um, so flight sim enthusiasts, um, and to create aircraft, freeware or otherwise, is not an easy thing, particularly with the level of detail that we can. Um, Create uh, and uh, establish in this new simulator. So every developer needs to decide for themselves uh, what they uh, what they're going to support and what they're going to do going forward. Um, for us, uh, we love the goose. We wanted a modern take for this modern uh, simulator, and the only way to going to do that via payware. Um, uh, and when you're doing when you're doing payware um, as opposed to freeware, with freeware, um, the developer can, uh, I guess this applies equally to payware as well, but generally um, with freeware, the, the, the developer can just shut up shop whenever they want and, uh, and then just, just move on. Yes, that can happen with payware as well. Um, but typically, um, with payware, um, because the developers are being paid for their efforts, they tend to stick around a little bit longer um, because they're, they're basically being rewarded for their time by, um, by our fans buying our, uh, our aircraft and telling their friends about uh, how awesome they are. Uh, and then their friends go and buy it and... Um, yeah, so look, at, at the end of the day, it is a business. So you do need to make um, decisions that best suit your business. Yeah. 
And 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 look, and, and I and I definitely believe that that you've uh, the big radials has definitely proven uh, time and again with the the, yeah, the the two previous releases, and and I and I honestly believe with the amount of fun I'm having with this aircraft right now that, that it's it's definitely applicable again. That you know your level of enthusiasm, of passion, and and quality uh, really sets you apart from. Um, Shall we say many of the marketplace vendors uh, <laughs> and and vendors of a certain particular uh, flight sim retail flight sim retail store? Um, so so I, and 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 again, it, it's 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 about finding that balance and 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 completely understand. But but I, I guess the, the the key point is as well that that really great to hear for the community is that yeah, you're not going to simply you know withdraw the the goose from availability it's still going to be available but you know as you said and 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 i remember you said that pretty much at release it was hey guys this is it like we've done this we're not unless there's a unless there's a a a major breaking like it's not going to get any further update and that's been your position for i've got to say almost a year now um that's been your position with the goose i think even long before this was actually officially announced so um, I, 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 guess, I, 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 again, sort of reiterate the community that, you know, and thanks for the assurance there to the community that, um, that, yeah, there's no, you know, we, we're not going to, for those who, who, who do enjoy the, the, the free goose, you, you've still got that option available. Uh, personally, I love this goose. I think this one is a lot more, is a lot of fun and it's definitely a little bit more challenging to fly. It's um, a lot there I'll was, tell you that there was a, a there was a lot of nostalgia for me loading in the the Oz X goose into Microsoft Flight Simulator and yes. going, That's it. and uh, just just so much nostalgia with that of going the number of hours and group flights that I spent together using it and and of course of course is my yeah. journey as as a, as a texture artist um, being something that's very familiar as well. Um, so, folks, what we're going to do is, as I said, folks, make sure that you are still active in the chat as well, because we will be drawing uh, the prize, which is a free copy for uh, of this amazing aircraft for Microsoft Flight Simulator, for, courtesy of Big Radials. Uh, we'll be drawing that in around about five minutes or so. Uh, so, folks, five, six minutes, so make sure that you are active in the chat, uh, and we will be picking a winner, well, not, but we'll be picking a winner at random uh, through from uh, those of you who are active. Um, so, yeah, absolutely. Nope. Uh, I really need to, to make sure that people understand that we talked about this together um, about whether or not he should pull uh, the freeware and he was so concerned because he he's a huge flight sim enthusiast and his passion is just as high as mine um, but at the end of the day he decided that no I believe that I'm, I need to, to pull the freeware. And you know what? You guys need to support him because he's a great developer. He's got a great team um, and he does great, great work and he's not charging a million bucks for it. Mm-hmm. I think that's a really important thing to understand as well because, yes, whilst the freeware one is no longer available, the payware one is ridiculously cheap. Come and check it out. They're great guys, and oh, it's a hell no, of a fun boy. Oh, oh, absolutely, and 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 I, and I will fully endorse that. Is the Got Gravel team do amazing work? Um, they are uh, fantastic yeah. developers, and, and folks, and, and I want to re- reiterate that as well. Is that and and I discussed this in the the Nova app last week when we covered the launch of this. Um, that uh, the the work that they've done and and in in updating the model, you can see that the model's new. The model's been cleaned up. Um, there's been a lot of work's gone on to it, and it's and it's also a new take on the aircraft as well. Um, it's a it's not necessarily. I mean, Orbix has sort of cornered the market in on a you know on a on a, on a authentic traditional optica, um, but uh, the Got Gravel team has absolutely uh, done an amazing job with bringing to life a uh, modern sort of interpretation of the aircraft. Um, and and yeah, absolutely, folks. If you enjoy the Optica, definitely do consider supporting the the team at Got Gravel. Um, I love the work they do. They also work closely with Parallel Forty Two, uh, and of course, their their a lot of their work has been uh, is involved with the Kit Fox as well. 
So that is uh, great to see, folks. So, yeah, so I do highly recommend them as a developer. Uh, so not saying anything negative about it. As I said, it's just a. As I said, I just wanted to make sure that that the questions yeah. that the community had were addressed. Yeah, um, and, and I misunderstood or taken out of context right. there as well. Plus, it's got doggo. So you've got to get it just for <laughs> So not going to lie, if, if I end up picking it up, I won't be getting it for Doggo, I'll be getting it for Caddo because there is now a cat <laughs> available. So that's the thing there. Um, just catching up on some of the catch here, we've got a couple of questions here. There. Um, yep. So uh, any chance of a luxury variant, the GT, the G21A? Yes. So I guess we've had we've had the question about the turbo the turbo prop variant. Uh, and yeah. Now we've got the question about the the original sort of you know, luxury lined one, not the Spartan sort of seats here. Yeah, look, we might be more likely to, to do that than to do a turbo. Um, mm-hmm. So if we were to do uh, an update, it would be uh, you know to the interior. Uh, yeah, that's relatively easy. Uh, however. Any time that we spend on that, as I kind of mentioned before, takes away from time that we can spend on the next aircraft. And as Nova has hinted, we have some really cool stuff on our new pool. Uh, and I can't wait to pick our teeth into the next one. We still haven't decided what the next one is. We, we kind of got an idea that we can go backwards and forwards. Um, but Yeah, more radials to come. Uh, <laughs> now the question is: the question is, are we uh, are we now going to see a, a continuing trend where big radials will actually continue producing big radials, or are we going to be yeah. uh, <laughs> revisiting yeah, back to in lines? <laughs> there, there, there might be the occasional uh, side product um, that does not have a radial. Um, like for instance, we the F eighty six Saber. We're big fans. We like that. But that's a jet, right? That's a jet fighter. Um, but it's but it, you know, but it's a jet fighter that was still very basic. None of this modern yeah. mod con stuff. Uh, yeah. It was, you know, uh, I, I, I I could see you doing that. I I'm gonna totally, you know, put my uh, uh, you know put my thing in and, and throw a random one to throw on the wall of cool. All right. uh, the um, the whittle the whittle jet. Huh. The, What's that? that? So that was a prototype. It was the first British jet-powered aircraft. Okay. Uh, literally, so, it was so a it was, it was a Neen engine with a tail on it and a set of wings. Um, <laughs> but it's just one of those cool oddities uh, that uh, you know me. I love those. Um, yeah. I was going to say uh, I see a couple of votes coming through in the chat here for uh, Catalina. Uh, with with big radials because because yeah, we all we know we all we, we all know that Belgio loves his cats uh, his his, yeah. his aviation cats I mean you know he's that. he's got his Tomcat for every sim now well he will have with X Plane Twelve um, yeah. and then we'll be getting this at <laughs> you know what else is really Oh, we, we, we did. Now, the question was, was that interference from your microphone deliberate so, so we could hide what he's going to be releasing next? <laughs> and Albatross is really pretty. Uh, Al- and Albatross. Now, is this another one where is it one Albatross, many Albatry, or is it one Albatross, I many Albatross? I have Albatross pilot, so I don't know. Ah, well, we shall have to find that out. Uh, Shorts S23, so Shorts S23, the box oh, the Learjet came in. I might do a beware on that. <laughs> the the I might bo- do a on that. I, I have one. <laughs> it's it's amazing. Um, I have been given permission to release it, so it it, it might get the uh, the 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 Wookiees hangar treatment rather than the big radials treatment. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, we'll see. We'll see, Albino. But hang on, Albino, you need to get Microsoft Flight Sim first of all. Something. <laughs> When you when you get Microsoft Flight Sim, then I'll look at uh, doing that. I sort. I feel what? there's a deal bit with the devil being made there. So 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 Kiwi, the, those of us who all want the the shorts twenty three. I mean, we we're, we're now going to rely on you to get Microsoft Flight Simulator because otherwise Wookie's not going to develop it for us. You know, I, I think I heard a commitment there that Wookie's going to develop it if you get Microsoft Flight Sim. <laughs> I, I I will spend some serious time on the freeware once Kiwi gets Flight Sim. <laughs> 
right here. It's live. You can clip it. Clip, can clip, clip that. It. Clip that. Then we can hold that to him. That's um, right. All right, folks, what, we, what we're going to do is that I don't know if everybody else can see this traffic, but I am going to try and attempt a water landing near this ship traffic. And then uh, once I'm down, we will roll the dice and find our latest, uh, find our winner of, uh, the, of this beautiful, beautiful goose. So I'm going to descend down. Now, fortunately, I've got pretty much... Six knots. So that's pretty much good. We're just going to come across this bow. So we're going to pull our throttles back. So, folks, make sure you've been active in the chat. I can see quite, a, excuse me, quite a few names are already in the draw, which is good. Uh, I'll try not to fly into the ship, but this is also me on Challenge Tuesday, so I can't guarantee anything here. Um, so, so. <laughs> all right, throttle is good. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, how do you end the draw? Yeah, ex exactly. That is a great question that everybody should be asking. Um, definitely feel that kick of lift when the uh, airfoil sort of changes with that, uh, with the flaps extending. Big, big flaps, and there's, there's only two positions, 30 and 60. But uh, now, one interesting thing about the flaps, these are not hydraulically driven. These are actually driven by the vacuum. Now, because they're driven by the vacuum, uh, they will automatically retract over 90 knots. Oh, they automatically retract. Ah, so I don't have to worry about damaging them anymore. That's nice. Correct. Yep. Right. Um, so, yeah, there's the, you don't need to worry about uh, um, overspeed on your flaps. <laughs> Uh, because they'll, they'll just retract, and that's uh, really, really useful if you need to do a go oh. around, uh, you know, on water, Oof. <laughs> on something else. That was, that was a bit bouncy, that landing. And of course, I, and I, I immediately went to touch my toe brakes, and I'm like, there's no brakes on water, no. is there? <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. So we uh, we managed not to hit the ship, which is always a good start. So let's uh, let's. Uh... Now I feel like this is also a great spot to do some fishing. Uh, is what I'm feeling like. Uh, would you agree that this might be a great spot to do some fishing? I think that that would be a tremendous spot to do, do some spot. Fishing? fishing. Okay. Well, let's uh, let's. Did you uh, uh, I think I did. I think I saw some. Uh, I think I saw them somewhere. All right. So let's. Uh, Engines off. Listen to that sound, will you? Magneto's off. All right, fuel is good. Generator one, two, off. Fuel closed. Hopefully, we'll be we'll get all this started up again later. Battery master off. As my sim, I need to disable that. I believe there's some way I can disable that in the sim now. Uh, oh. Okay, let's turn those off. All right, yeah, good. All right, now. Now, uh, if I do recall correctly, I need to... Now, there's a hatch here that I can open, which I can see the click point. There we go, I can open the front hatch. Yeah. Now, I saw some click points back here as well. So, yeah. uh, let's see if I can I can bring them to life. Somewhere, maybe. There, there it is. I, I'm going to suggest maybe make these click points a little bit bigger. <laughs> that would be nice. Now, if I saw correctly, uh, there was an interesting little switch I saw on here that said something about an anchor and something about a fishing stool. Yeah, funny that. <laughs> funny that. Um, uh, so let me get the right... And, and of course, my camera dies at this point. There we go. That's what I wanted. Uh, oh, look at that. <laughs> so we can sit here with a... With, now, I would say a couple of cold ones, but of course, there's eight hours bottle to throttle. Um, 
And yet, uh, <laughs> for, for, for four hours, and we can do some fishing. Uh, so I am absolutely loving this one. Alrighty, so folks, what we're going to do is that we are going to take this moment while we're relaxing uh, with our fishing rod, and we are going to roll the dice and see who is going to win a copy of the this amazing aircraft. Uh, so it is going to be uh, Commander Dylan. Congratulations! Hey, congratulations! Congratulations, you have just won yourself a copy of Big Radial's, uh, uh, Big Radial's beautiful rendition of a classic goose. In fact, I just realised actually that this livery is uh, NAS Whidbey Island and it is actually, we're actually about to fly past that. Uh, <laughs> so that's really ironic and that's really, really cool. Also, I did may or may not have just destroyed the flaps opening that door, but anyway, we, we that's, just, that's a simism. We're just going to ignore that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, I need to put some controls on that to uh, just. I because I love how you allow got, you to open the door. Because I also love how you've got an interlock on the boarding ladder. So so as we jump, if we just quickly just yeah. jump into the cockpit here, uh, the boarding ladder can be put here. But there's an interlock on the boarding ladder control, which actually stops it uh, appearing unless you have the door open. Um, which is, uh, I, I, I really appreciate that as a nice little touch. Um, <laughs> sorry, the, the, the Minecraft log model is yeah. still me, so no. hilarious. <laughs> well, that's all I can see of yours is just the Minecraft model. Um, so. uh, Dylan, congratulations. Uh, I will, we will send you a uh, DM on Twitch very, very shortly uh, with the code for you to redeem uh, your new goose. Uh, from the Big Radials website. Uh, folks, what we're going to do is we're going to take a uh, short break here. Uh, we're going to take around about a uh, seven or six, seven minute uh, break or so, just uh, while because I need to visit a little pilot's room. Uh, or as a tour guide, I was once on a on a charter boat with uh, in Mexico once upon a time. Uh, said the giant ocean, the giant bathroom that is uh, bathroom stop when they pulled the boat over and stopped the engine for a minute. Uh, so <laughs> we're, we're going to we're going to that. Uh, we're going to grab a drink, drink as well and make sure. Folks, if you've been here since the beginning, make sure you grab yourself a beverage as well. And we'll be back uh, in a few minutes for a uh, more adventures with the goose as we head up and further into the Pacific Northwest. Uh, yes, the, the, it, it does come with a little pilot's room. You're absolutely right, it does. All right, folks, uh, enjoy your break. We'll see you in a few minutes. Alrighty, folks. It was like, click all of the buttons. Welcome back to our special goose edition. Um, though I have to admit, at least it's not as, t it's, th this goose is not as terrifying as Canadian geese. Uh, <laughs> because having, having met Canadian geese, uh, they are rather terrifying. Uh, <laughs> Chinese geese. My mother. My mother had Chinese geese when I was in, in <laughs> grade seven and grade eight, and I absolutely adored her. They would follow her everywhere. I stepped one toe out our back door. <laughs> yeah, it was not fun. And they they are out to get you. Yeah, um, man. I, I was just saying, Belgio is noticing that one certain thing that we don't really pay attention to is the sound of lapping waves. Like, you know, oh, it, how it, good it, is it? It's the sound design in this game and, and mm. certain add-ons as well. It's actually as a bit of a sneak peek into my uh, upcoming Renton review. Um, sound design in, in, in this game and for and, and developers embracing sound design as well that's capable in this game is, is such an amazing thing to see. And and, and as I said, a bit of a sneak, pre sneak preview into my review of, of Renton. Um, Geovesic design is really leverages that in, in some yeah. pretty epic ways that, that uh, um, as I said, I'm, um, uh, that, that my other PC is busily, you know, burning, burning, burning electrons and uh, rendering that out in 4K for everybody so hopefully that'll be coming out soon um so it's, it's, it's so okay so that's a, an interesting uh plot twist nobody didn't get a fishing license and so now it's getting a ticket from the game warden <laughs> 
and um, accurate. Well, you know, that's that's why we take off. Right? That's why we take off and run away. Um, so, yeah, not if they don't find the case of beer we have in the back. It's, it's just, see, no, no, no. What you do, Bill, dude, you just slip, you have a separate six pack ready, and you just say, oh, really, officer, are you sure there's not something that, uh, that, that, that is, you know, is, is there, is there, an, oh, is, 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 is that's the phrase I used when I got pulled over for speeding in Africa? Was, uh, is there an on the spot fine officer that, um, uh, that I could pay to to resolve this matter today, uh, and and I and, and I and I and I opened the wallet and there was a there was a fifty US dollar note sitting in there and it, there was then suddenly there was no fifty US dollar note sitting in my wallet anymore. So and there you go, it was all taken care of. Um, <laughs> Uh, it's gonna get, want something to guard your house get some geese mm-hmm. uh, or MSFS runner okay on, a, on an i5 um, that is I, I think Kiwi that the i5 is the is the is, is low spec uh, definitely check out flightsimulator.com uh, they have the the minimum recommended and and uh, and and connected uh, and so best experience specs all laid out and I'm pretty sure i5 uh, is on their uh, minimum spec so you should be able to at least give it a go and one of the great things of course and, and I always uh, talk about this because we were talking uh, Wookie before about uh, inclusivity and and and, uh, and making sure the flight simming is is, is a for everybody that Microsoft uh, want the, the best thing that they've really ever done for, for the flight simming hobby as a whole is by offering it to be part of Microsoft of, of Xbox's Game Pass uh, yeah. you can try Game Pass for, for five bucks um, and for try it for a month on, uh, and, and you know no long term commitment costs you five dollars and you can try not only Microsoft Flight Simulator but you can try thousands of games across Microsoft's yeah. and, and EA's library now uh, all in Included in that, so uh, yeah, I, I I have to you know I always have to say a, a huge acknowledgement to the the team Microsoft and Sobo for, for actually doing that. I think that's pretty awesome. Um, is it just your cell phone to watch? No worries there, uh, Belgio. Well, I'm glad we provide some entertainment with that one. Uh, it's it's not co- it's not bribing. It's it's we, we we it's not bribing. It is absolutely not bribing. It is never bribery. Uh, it is it is uh, greasing the wheels of commerce. Is 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 what we're going to say. Um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I'm, inter- I'm one of those interesting people, uh, Brown, uh, because, uh, during the pandemic, when everybody else was working from home, I wasn't, uh, my, my role requires me to, to, to work in an office, uh, all the time just for, for what the things that I do. Uh, so when everybody else was working from home, I was still making the trip to work every day. Uh, all right, now let's see if I can uh, start this aircraft. Uh, is there's the next question? I should probably button the aircraft up. Probably might be a good start. So let's uh, close our front hatch. That, that's sorry. That's just cool. The fact that the animations are all there. I, I'm I'm loving this. Uh, okay, let's. Uh, oh, now where's 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 my click point for the for the outside door? Well, this is going to be fun to find. It's uh, <laughs> uh, the whole idea. Uh, is is this like the is this the mini game that comes with your <laughs> with this? You've got to find the click point to close the door. Okay, that's that's the that, that's it's the not exit easy ladder. To find from back there. Oh, there's one. <laughs> got one. <laughs> uh, well, that's the that's the ladder. I like also how the ladder couldn't wouldn't like the door wouldn't shut until the ladder had been retracted as well. That was a nice touch. Um, yeah. Okay, we can uh, stow our stow our, our, our anchor. We can uh, stow our anchor. I also love the fact that you got the little floating buoy there on the top to mark where the anchor is. Like that's. It's yeah. these little touches. I am loving. I am loving these. Uh, these uh, I I know it's it's the it's the it's the uh, Inspector Gadget uh, Extendo Arms is what it is. Now I am curious. Uh, I have different yoke styles apparently. Uh, oh, yes. I've got leather. I've got leather trim. <laughs> I got mm-hmm. and it's like oh, and that's that's substance painter. I can see that. Um, very nice. Very nice material. Okay, we'll 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 change our skin on that one now. All right, let's. Uh, Pop that panel away. Close the hatch. All right, now. 
All right. Uh, copy door closed. Battery master is on. Fuel set to both. Fuel valves are open. All right. So we're going to wobble the wobble pump. Wobble the pump of wobbling. <laughs> the pump of wobbling. Um, yeah. Please, please, at some point, the next aircraft you uh, you do, have a little sticky note next to it that says the pump of wobbling. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Please, please do that. Um, all right. Now, we're going to prime the engine. I love that that's the way we actually have to prime it. Uh, yeah. All right. Quarter throttle open. Magneto set to both. All right. And then we're going to... Nice. Oh, I just lo I just love that, and it's it's that authentic start process as well, of the because because Rockview was telling me that when he was first starting it, he was like, "Is he? Am I starting this correctly?" Because it, it wouldn't catch, and it was like, "Yep, yeah, you actually have to like hold it on." Yeah, and if the outside temperature is too low, then and you haven't primed it properly, and it's going to need a little bit more priming. Yep, like my right engine currently does. Okay, there we go. Not quite. This is going to be interesting because I'm currently got one engine going and currently uh, taxing. This could be interesting. Uh, wobble the pump of wobbling quickly. Right, mags are off. Oh, uh, that would probably help, wouldn't it? See? Yeah. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. Um, I, I, I am, I am, yes, you know, uh, who would have thought that actually, you know, having to turn the mags on was actually important. There it is. And there's that beautiful rumpf as she catches. Oh, oh. isn't it great? Yeah. <laughs> We managed to not hit the island before I did that. That's fine. Yeah, the fishing pole was absolutely brought in. The fishing pole was absolutely brought in. All right. Now, into the wind. I just love the way she handles so nice hey guys look honestly this is the this is the first time that i've had to actually <laughs> recreationally fly <laughs> so thank you Nova. this is That's an absolute treat that is absolutely fine. So, um, well, I, as I've said this before to to, to, to my community as well, it's, it's not going to lie to you. It's like as, as much as I, you know, I, I I'm honoured and privileged to to fly, uh, you know, to fly and 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 I and I try to be a, an encouraging and welcoming member of the flight sim community. But not going to lie, like one of my reasons for starting streaming back two years ago was because I got sick of only ever being in a sim, just to. Um, uh, just to test stuff. Uh, it was like, I, I want to actually have a reason. I, I, want, I want to fly and do my own flying because yeah. I, I just never got to do that myself. And it, it's just, it's just something that you don't. And, and, and obviously uh, uh, Wookie, you're very familiar with that now is that, yeah. um, is that when you're developing, you don't end up getting to fly oh, yourself <laughs> very much. And it's like, I, not, I, not decent <laughs> flights, you know, it's, yeah. it's get up there, uh, okay, so we're flying, we're now at uh, 2,000 
Uh, feet. Okay, what's my engines? What are my temps? Ah, uh, okay, yep. hang on. I'm going to pause it. i got to fix something in the code. Okay, uh-huh. Uh-huh. go back into the sim, uh, reload the aircraft uh, through the development console. Uh, okay, let's go through that again. All right, we're at 2,000 feet. What are my temperature? Ah, oh, damn, it's still not working. All right, pause hey, it. Hey, at least, <laughs> you can, repeat, hey? At, at least you can reload stuff through the dev console. I've got to restart the goddamn sim. Yeah. <laughs> like, like the, for, for, for us texture artists, particularly if we don't have access to a lot of zero models, it's, uh, yeah. it's not fun. It's not fun. It's a lot, a lot um, more challenging. Uh, uh, sure. Well, so Rockview, Fishing from the Sky, not going to lie, there is a company, and I, I want to say uh, only in America, uh, <laughs> which actually offers you fishing charter tours where you're hovering from a helicopter. Um, <laughs> yeah, because the sound of a helicopter. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you don't catch anything. It's just the experience to say that, hey, I got to fish hey, from a helicopter. This. I'm hey, pretty... I'm <laughs> fish back. I've got too much But you know what? God damn it. I fished out of a helicopter. Did you catch anything? <laughs> nope. Who cares? Who cares whether I caught right. anything or not? I, got, I fished out of a helicopter. All right. Yeah, right. Uh, oh, let me go. I'm going to unlock that window again. I'm going to... Because I, I just want to like deafen the community with that beautiful sound of that giant, yeah, please do. that giant wasp junior you know what? radio. I'm live this time. <laughs> and 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 again, folks, you would have noticed there as I did that that the sound pitch changed. Um, so, question actually, because we we're talking about sound design oh. just before, um, is yeah. this a full W wise sound set? Because that is something yeah. that comes up uh, a conversation, particularly a lot of yeah. Uh, Older, I'm not going to say like legacy developers, but the developers who've been around the traps for a bit longer than mm. yourself, um, they've been caught short on several occasions with using the more and the more traditional. Yeah. We're just going to call it traditional uh, yeah. sound set. No, you can you can you can call it legacy sounds because that's honestly what it is. Um, look, with with FSX and P3D and whatever, um, in order to get you know sounds on everything you actually needed a third-party module um done by uh, a member of the community uh doug dawson i believe was his name yes um, and you know that allowed you to have um additional sound and to be able to call it programmatically and whatever well guess what you don't need that anymore because wise is amazing it is so intense and insane and the oh my god the um the learning curve is steep, but what you can do with it <laughs> is nuts. And and uh, nuts. yeah, so it's so funny because I I worked in the the you know I I once upon a time many 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 moons ago I uh, I I did uh, an, an update of an aircraft I, I overhauled Piglet's old um, CV10 Bronco and I dragged yep. it kicking and screaming uh, into uh, into F6 Steam and into prepared. Uh, and one of the things that I did was I actually worked with the, the sound set there to actually work on uh, uh, um, the sound set of the, the Garrett turboprops that, that, that powered the OV-10 and actually you know took a sound set and actually then all of the different recordings and rebuilt them to actually work to be more in line with what I believe that aircraft would sound like. Um, and I, I remember the, the going through the, the the cones and all the coordinates and everything else that you had to deal with, and then uh, just that was just so such a nightmare. And there was this there was this one tick in one of the sound files I just could not get rid of. I have no idea what it was, where it was, and I just could yeah. not get rid of it. Um, yeah. So, uh, this is so show so, so, so that. Uh, Flopsy815, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the crew. Great to have you on board. Hope you're having a fantastic Tuesday. Um, all right, so we're continuing our little little sojourn here through uh, through the Pacific Northwest. And of course, we're going to be heading up to, uh, I've decided we're not going to go to. Um, uh, to Friday Harbour, we're going to head to Orcas Island because if because uh, I have the Orbix, at least I think I have the Orbix Orcas Island scenery installed, which also has a boat ramp or amphibious ramp. So we 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 saw the us leaving the gland and entering the water uh, with some semi hilarious results, and we're going to see if we can do the same in reverse uh, because water taxing this aircraft, I'm feeling, is going to be fun. Um, <laughs> Actually. Uh, is that with or without the uh, the modern uh, uh, modern aid of a uh, of a water rudder? Well, I... 
Oops, I think I did leave the fishing rod up. One moment. <laughs> uh, I, I, I'm yeah. going to suggest that there needs to be an interlock on that. <laughs> yeah, I think there, I think there does as well. <laughs> we're just going to... Uh, all right, we're just going to do that. We're going to do that. And then we're going to do that. And then we're going to go this. And we're going to here. We're going to go... We didn't see anything, folks. <laughs> Nothing to see here. Nothing, nothing to see here, folks. Nothing Move to along. see here. <laughs> Moving along. Moving along. Um, <laughs> Good lord. I mean, folks, if you come here for serious for, for serious replication yeah. of real world yeah. activities, you're in the wrong channel. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know, well, we, we, I mean, doing, during our, 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 our stream fly and learn ep, uh, events, absolutely, but, uh, the rest of the time, it's all about the shenanigans. Um, <laughs> if you can't have fun, it is a game. Can, can we, can we have that, can we have that louder again for the people in the back, uh, there, Mr. Wookie? because, because, uh, that, that is, that is, that is really, really important. If you can't have fun while doing this, uh, honestly, you're doing, you, you're doing it wrong. Um, <laughs> not, to, not, not to invalidate anyone's fun. But you're doing it wrong. <laughs> it's but but that's the thing, and and that's and that's the thing, and, and again for, for everybody who's 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 been watching me for some time, and, and Wookie, I know you've heard about me going about this ad nauseum since long. Yeah. I think I think you, you heard about me going on this Got ad nauseum it. for the other days. It, it, the, the earlier days was um, everybody's way of simming is valid. Uh, yeah. Whether you want to, to to role play being an airline pilot and you want to follow all the procedures and you want to follow all your sits and stars, or if you want to go at the you know if you want to light light the burners, kick the tires, light the fires, and fly inverted at fifty feet off the deck, then each of those are both equally valid as each other. Um, yeah. It's how you enjoy it. If if how you yeah. derive enjoyment and fun is by replicating, uh, you know, real world procedures of of a of a of a seven three seven, then that is for you and all power to you. And I fully support you in that. Um, but your way, but that way of simming is no better and no worse or no more valid or less valid than someone who just wants to yank and bank. Um, that is, you know, 100% uh, a, a, a huge philosophy for me and it's been something that I have been so passionate about for so many years. Uh, and I know Bel Geode is absolutely sick to death of he hearing me say that. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, it, it's just one of those things that I, that I always sort of, you know, caution about and I'm always... Uh, and, and I remember having a, a, a discussion with, with, with Jorg about that as well in, in, uh, in Seattle. And saying that, uh, yes, because because uh, he made, he, I remember he made a comment that you know he, he wanted to make you know, he was making a sim for simmers, and I said I said well, define simmer, and and that was a real key thing. I wanted to hear what he defined a simmer as because I, when I heard that, I actually had a, had a fear that he was going to tailor this sim um, to a very. Let, let's be honest, folks. We're a niche community as it is. Um, yeah, absolutely. You know, flight simming as a whole, we're a niche community. Um, but you know the uh, tube liner uh, uh, cousins, um, you know, our tube liner brothers and sisters, they are a niche within a niche within a niche. And if you're going to tailor this huge, you know, multi-million dollar effort on behalf of Microsoft and Asobo to that smaller niche, I said you were, you know, they were going to fail. Um, but that's why you know it was so in heart, you know, you know, so so so. Um, uh, so, so in, in heart, in, in, in heart, is that the right word? I, I know the word I'm looking for, um, but I was so you know overjoyed to to, to, to know that no, he, his definition was it was um, a simmer is somebody who wants to to simulate in however they choose to enjoy it, um, and 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 I think that's where you know this sim really shows the fall with so many things being introduced, you know, to be able to offer and open the virtual skies to so many people. So. Hmm. Yeah. yeah, I couldn't agree. And it's just absolutely uh, amazing what you can do in this. And, and there's so many ways to enjoy this world that they've given us. So, you know, why not try it all? 
Yeah, I- I- exactly, exactly. And and and, and I know that uh, something that always gets asked, uh, we see it pop up of people who are... No, sorry, we did not catch any flying fish, I'm afraid, Dash. I'm afraid we did not. Um, we... Uh, the... <laughs> There's always like, the conversation of you know like you know which you know which one do we do you know what, what's better we always see you know new users to the hobby which of course this sim has brought in so many more new 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 virtual aviators uh, always asking you know what do I get what aircraft's best you know what's the best thing for me to get you know and it's and 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 Belgio yeah if, if, if it's it's usually a race between Belgio and I to answer this question of um, the you know don't. Do not get anything. Do not put anything yours in your sim. Um, enjoy your sim in its base form and figure out what you want. What do you enjoy? Um, take your time. Take weeks, months to figure out. Fly the start aircraft that come with the sim. Um, find what excites you the most and then start looking as what to add in. Um, and and to see what is you know the best option for you because that I think is more important. Now I'm having a look here down at Orcas at the moment, and yep. all right, so I've got all right, so they've got the marina, the boat harbour, and then it's just the we're just going to be trundling up the beach, I think, uh, to taxi onto the ramp there. All right, so let's see how this pattern goes there. What should I get to make the sim look look good? I mean, and that is absolutely true, definitely with this sim. I think this sim looks pretty damn amazing uh, out of the box. Um, this is the first sim where I don't feel the need to go out and get all the things. <laughs> all of the things, yes. Yeah. Um, I and, and I tend to agree with you. Uh, I think that uh, you know there are specific add-ons that, that you know that I will get. Uh, you know, scenery sort of stuff I will get for certain locations because uh, they are locations that are important to me. Uh, you know, Renton, funnily enough, actually being one of them because, you know, I've, I've spent time out there. I've flown. I've got, I've got sick time flying Cessna 172s out of Renton. Um, so for me, uh, that's, a, that, you know, that's an airport that I want to get. And uh, there's a couple of others that I want to get. I'm really looking forward to. I'm hoping that someone eventually makes a, a Norfolk Island because um, I spent a lot of my early life, actually, um, uh, when I was single digits, flying uh, to and from Norfolk Island and Brisbane International. So um, I'm really looking forward to somebody, hopefully somebody making Norfolk Island at some point. Um, uh, going through the manual, uh, no flaps on takeoff. Ah, oh, I did not, is that a, is no flaps on takeoff? It's a flapless departure? Not required. Not required. Yeah, I mean, not required. She just wants to fly. Mm. Um, you know, depending on, depending on how much runway you've got, right? Mm. So if you've, if you've got runway, then... You don't need you don't need flaps and look she's not short field takeoff but she doesn't need much space right she she will take off maybe on a piece of a4 <laughs> um you know and if you've got less than that well then yeah chuck in some flaps uh basal scenery just empty the lonely jetways on the concrete <laughs> And it's uh, the other thing I also appreciate about Microsoft Flight Simulator as well is that they really they uh, I'm not going to say they completely listen to the advice of you know make the community part of it, but the doing the things like you know allowing the the ease of adding in add-ons um, with a dedicated just a community folder, just you know add your add-on yeah. in here, bang done. Like that yeah. was a that's a huge step forward. That really really was it was a huge step forward. Um, I mean, yeah. As well. mm. it's, it's, a, it's an absolute godsend, not only for user, but also for developers. You know, we're seeing 10 times as many samples through my computers but through any. Um, and it's because it's not there and it's available. And the average Joe doesn't know about Ubex, doesn't know about mm. Sim Market doesn't necessarily want to know about any of that stuff. Oh, hang on. There's I can get a I can get a goose or I can get an L thirty eight or mm. you know, whatever it is that uh, is their particular dream bird. Yep. Having it accessible inside the game is game changer. 
Oh, absolutely, and and just and, and again, it goes to that whole piece of of, of making um, of making it accessible um, mm-hmm. to to more people. That's a huge thing. All right, let's see if I can not yeah. porpoise on this landing. Mm, that's okay. Yeah. There we go. That was better. Yeah. Let's get extra set of flaps in there so we can just coast down. <laughs> All right, I'm going to clean those flaps up this time. Um, yeah, it's it, yeah, it is interesting, and it's sort of having a chat about that, and it's and it's also been good watching. Um, well, I'm not going to say all, but some some of the old guard, you know, take a, a look at you know at where they're placed in in the virtual world as well, yeah. and and actually, uh, we we I briefly mentioned them earlier, and and I and I, I want to take an opportunity here to to talk about. Um, uh, a, a great friend of both Wookie and I, um, the the developer behind Wing Forty Two. Um, so th- 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 that 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 guy, he's he's just amazing. Um, so he recently announced, and he made a really interesting announcement, uh, folks. And if you're if you're not sure who he is, so he produced the Blario. Um, he's been around since FSX FS Nine days, uh, doing various aircraft. Um, so he's, he's not new to the world. Um, but what he made a recent announcement because he believes and, and much like myself that many, not all, but many third party add-ons are overpriced. Some only a little bit, some disgustingly so. And he made a very interesting announcement um, for his upcoming next aircraft release, which is the the, the Boeing um, Boeing two four seven, which is a uh, between the wars airliner, uh, which is coming out with some immaculate, exquisite detail. And he what? made his he made his announcement for that one, and that he's going to be releasing that for twenty dollars. Um, US dollars. Tw- tw- so it was, was it twenty US dollars? It was twenty US dollars, I think. Yes. Well, was uh, it twenty? So, which is quite frankly, uh, is an absolute steal. Um, for the, I've I've seen that aircraft and what he's developing with it, and uh, wow, that is that is one of the aircraft I would say would be worth a lot more. But he wants to again, he wants to make flight simming more acceptable, more uh, accessible to more people. Um, am I doing that? Okay, so we've got my gear out. Yeah, have you got your gear out? Gear out. Ah, gonna put mine out now. Oop, and about to run into a tree. Uh, <laughs> uh, so yeah, so he's and he's and he actually made a really interesting conversation piece uh, in his post about when he announced the pricing by basically saying, "Look, that you know, these you know flight sim add-ons are." look like they're a bit overpriced and we need to and we need to and he talked about how that flight sim should be accessible and needs to be more accessible to more people and he's pricing his his add-on to to reflect what he believes um i absolutely believe that he could 100 percent charge easily 40 us dollars or more for that airliner because the amount of <laughs> 70 seriously Detail. Yeah, yeah, the the detail, the level of detail and system simulations got into it is easily on par with uh, the likes of, of, of PMDG, who are well known for charging over a hundred dollars for their products. Yeah. Um, and and I think he could justifiably charge that. But he's choosing to go a different route. He's choosing to make and you know spread the joy and the passion of aviation, of virtual aviation, and make it available to more people. And yeah. and I think we as a community need to like look. And you know, it's been mentioned several times in the chat already tonight how, <laughs> how quite frankly, expensive this hobby is, um, and or how, how how expensive this hobby can be, um, and and I think that's where we need to we, we need to literally like speak with our wallets on this one, where yeah. we need to sort of support the devs that, and, and I'm not saying that devs shouldn't be paid. Please do not under do not mistake this. Um, piracy is evil. Piracy is a bad thing. Should not happen, and 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 anybody who does should should not be part of the community. Um, however, what I am also saying, and and developers absolutely should be paid. What I'm also saying, however, is that we also need to send a message to developers who want to support us. 
uh, with um, initiatives like what Wing 42 are doing. Now, is the Blario and is the Boeing 247 going to be every, everybody's cup of tea? Absolutely not. And, and that's, I'm not saying it should be. But definitely, if you're looking for something, definitely consider supporting uh, devs like uh, him and like uh, uh, Mr. Wookie here, uh, who, when they produce affordable, really well designed and really well curated content, um, that, you know, that, that is something that I really encourage everybody to, to have a think about and, and think about where your flights and money goes. I mean, I'm the first one to admit that I was saying earlier that I would love to, to, to use my substance right now, but I don't just don't have the cash right now. So I fully understand that it's not for everybody. And, and, and as I said, it can be an expensive hobby, but definitely consider, you know, Consider where your money goes. Make sure and and and, and talk to uh, you know talk talk to fellow aviators, um, and do things like you know check out reviews. I know that uh, I've been very, I'm very far behind in my my review backlog uh, at the moment. But definitely you know look for you know look for str- look for quality streamers like the Flying Fabio, um, oh. and, and you know quality reviewers like Av Angel. To actually see what they say, and and before you sort of decide where to spend your dollars, and where possible, support devs who aim to support us. Um, yeah, price reductions would be good. Yeah, that's right. And let me see where is my. I love the parking brake is literally just a fold down thing that stops the brakes moving. <laughs> that literally locks the brakes on. That's freaking yeah. awesome. <laughs> and it, it also stops the rudders from moving as well. Okay, I will pay that one. That one's good. Uh, yeah. Okay, so nav lights off. Position lights off. Peter heat off. All right. And... Uh, now mag's off. We well, actually need to be off this time. Park break for dummies. Yeah, it is park break for dummies. It really is, isn't it? Uh, all right. So we're going to go fuel cut off. Battery masters are off. New. Yeah, there we go. All right. And not that we need that one open, but we'll open up our... find the click point again. There it is. And is there a click point for the ladder? Nope, I have to use the toggle of the ladder here. There we go. It's it's so interesting actually, sort of being so used to the 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 modern goose now to actually sort of look out my wingtip and not have to retract my flaps, so not have to retract my um my floats uh, once I'm airborne. It's like it's, it actually feels a little bit odd to get there. Uh, Commander Dylan's asking, is there a paint kit for it? Uh, is that included, or will there be one coming? Yeah, not currently. Um, we definitely will be putting something uh, soon. Uh, because we want to see all the beautiful creations. And honestly, there's some libraries from that were done with Moses, uh goose that I want on my new goose. <laughs> so I need someone to do them for. <laughs> uh, I, I think I think that was a less than subtle I think that's a less than subtle hint to me, I think. <laughs> I, guess, yeah, I'm, I'm, I need a little dipper and you know uh, I'm, I'm prepared to pay. I will put my money where my mouth is. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, so I, I guess, Dylan, the question is, is, is ask you a question, it's not yet, but it is coming. Uh, okay. So that is exciting yeah. to hear. So um, Yeah, we'll do something for everyone. Oh yeah, it just it, even even if you just even as I said with the P forty, even if you just give us a plain grey or plain white one, those of us using Blender to paint with, we can work with that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so funny bit the aerosol now has to be going for less quality, bigger volume. Um, Interesting, yeah. I haven't. I I, I grabbed the twatter. Uh, interesting to say that about the the twatter Ewell because I grabbed the twatter um, because twatter is one of one of my favourite aircraft. Um, because my my partner and I actually um, have some stories about uh, about twatters. Um, and uh, yeah, but I haven't actually flown it yet. It's installed, but I haven't flown it yet. Uh, 
Uh, you'd have paid one like the Disney cartoon. Uh, oh, the old tails, the one out of Tailspin. Tailspin, yeah. Oh wow, there <laughs> was a actually, goose in that, wasn't there too? It, well, it's it's not a goose, but it's it's similar to a goose. It, and well, I have it, been it's, asked it's, by several the, people it's, to, it's, it's to do one. one. It's, it's it's the it's the it's the it's the it's not really one, but it's near enough to one that we're going to call yeah. it one. Yeah, it's it, it's like yeah. the it, it's like the one that it. This isn't a Grumman goose, is it? This is a Goose. <laughs> <laughs> this is the JRF six B. <laughs> it's it's all about the proprietary folks. Uh, so there we go. So this is this is cool. This is thank this you. was so much fun. Thank you so much. No, thank you, uh, Miss Wookie and Oz Radials for producing this. Oz Radials. Uh, Oz, Oz Radio. Oz Radials. Big Radials. There we go. I'm getting the two names confused. <laughs> Oz Radio. Well, you know. You, well, I, suppose, I, I, can't, I can't say you're all Oz. Are you? I can't say you're all Oz. No. Um, uh, well, all we're going to say, folks, is that the only bugbears we're going to say is is that uh, that lod model <laughs> is yeah. that. That that lod model is you know you know what that lod model reminds me of. It's not a goose. It reminds me of what was that um, amphib with the pusher propeller yeah, that was in one. the the James Bond movie. It was made famous in James Bond movie. There was it was actually supposed to be the add on aircraft for Microsoft CD. Flight. CV yeah, that's it. CV that was yeah. it. Yeah. Um, yeah, I like them too. I'd, I'd... Uh, I have the one uh, in X plane, and like the goose, it's it's just beautiful to fly, and it's a gorgeous VFR machine. See, right. Mr. Belgia knows what I'm talking about. Yeah, mm-hmm. the, yeah, this the CV. Like I, I still remember because the the tragic story and connection I have with the CV virtually is um, Microsoft Flight. Uh, of course, for for those who might be fairly new to flight simulation, Microsoft Flight was uh, Microsoft's actual last venture into flight simulation. It wasn't FSX. There was one that came in between it, um, which was a stepping stone towards a planned FS11, um, but Microsoft Flight was killed by the community. Um, it was it was it was a combination of very bad corporate management, uh, mismanage or corporate mismanagement, um, and unfortunately, certain very vocal members of certain niche parts of our extended flight simulation family killed that sim. And the funny thing was, is that under the hood of the initial surface of that sim, if you bothered to dig deep, it had so many things that we we're only just seeing come to life now with this sim um, and with the very latest iteration of, of, of prepared things that, it, that, that we took for granted. Those of us who flew in flight took for granted that we then were gutted that we didn't see in any other sim again for another almost 10 years. Um, but the CB was actually going to be the first third party, non internally developed uh, DLC aircraft add on aircraft for that sim. Uh, and sadly that sim was killed in its prime cut, cut down in its prime. Uh, and uh, we lost the chance to fly that. But anyway, but on that on that note, are we yeah, I want to say a huge thank you uh, to you uh, to Wookie and the, and the team of Big Radials because the work you've done on on the this aircraft is absolutely amazing, and I can. And, and for everybody who, who asks, because the question is always going to ask, and I'll definitely address this when I do the review video, will be, you know, the question is, why why do I want to get this when I can get a freeware one? And and quite <laughs> frankly, there's, there's just so much more in this. The the yeah. sound is the is the big, you know, is a, is a huge thing for me. Um, yeah. The 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 engines. Part of me wants to mistreat the engine now and see what it does. Um, <laughs> to, to see what happens um but yeah so but thank you uh as well uh to to coming on board mr wookie and and joining us for this flight and telling us all about uh telling us all about your journey creating this and and, mm. and the journey of big radials thank you buddy as as always it's it's so much fun uh when we get on stream and I, I get to fly these things that I've spent, you know, a good six months uh, developing. And that's another thing, folks. It's, you don't understand how much goes into developing one of these aircrafts until you actually do it yourself. Um, you know, I, I used to be a member of the community. Oh, God, can't these developers just, just release it, you know? Just release it. It's, it's fine, you know? No. <laughs> no. Uh, so this this goose uh, we'd originally planned to actually have out for Christmas. Uh, it's now March, 
So it took us a good six months uh, to develop. Uh, and I am over the moon. Uh, I've really got to thank my team, uh, Codename Jack, who did the incredible flight model, um, my business partner, uh, Leprechaun Live, who did all of the 3D texturing and the modeling, and even did the coding for the Sperry Autopilot. Um, so, you know, he did a did a fantastic job on that. All of our testers. Um, and if you if you do get the goose, guys, please, please, please do the bush trip, um, a Canadian fishing trip. It's so much fun. Um, I do some narration in there uh, as your co-pilot, and I had a lot of fun recording the narration. Uh, and it is a really, really fun trip from Seattle all the way up to Stuart in uh, northern British Columbia. I would, so. uh, yeah, absolutely. And, and and again, folks, this is something else to, to look for in developers uh, like uh, Big Radials uh, and uh, developers like Iris Simulations as well is is the value adding that gets added to our product, uh, to, to, sorry, to their product. Um, because you know, uh, big radios here has taken the the opportunity to not give us not just not just give us a fantastically highly detailed amazing aircraft, but they've also gone that extra mile of giving us bush trips as well. Uh, you know, the Newport, we saw the landing challenges. Um, did we ever get the bush trip finally in the in the P forty? Or is that, uh, is that we still to be we, we we had to remove it because reasons. Um, uh, so I will look at um, re-adding it now that we've got a little bit of downtime. But I've actually got – I don't actually have a lot of downtime because I've got two more uh, little bush trips that I want to do for the goose. And um, one of them is going to be voiced by a pretty, pretty popular member of the community oh. who uh, has a great voice and uh, quite a unique voice. Oh. And I'm – Super, super looking forward to working with him. Oh, fantastic. I'm actually, well, we're looking forward to, to hearing what that's all about as well. Uh, and I can see the chat here also thanking you as well. Uh, Thank you. So, yeah, so, so that's great there. And yeah, thanks, chat folks. Um, congratulations uh, to Kamal Dillon for, for, for winning the giveaway tonight. And for everybody else, uh, I hope you've enjoyed this little uh, first look uh, at uh, beautiful, uh, at, uh, sorry, at the uh, beautiful goose from Big Radios. This is, I, I can't take any credit for this one. This is, I, I can't even say that I helped on the paint jobs on this one. Um, <laughs> sorry, uh, Milo, uh, Milo Sex, oh, well, yeah, not yet. Uh, Milo Sex, uh, g'day, hello and welcome to the stream. Um, and yes, yeah, so this is saying that uh, Belgium is saying it was totally worth the wait, and he was grateful to be a beta tester of it. And Rock, you saying that it was an awesome aircraft, and uh, yeah, we've got the the uh, the command there, folks, so you can head off and pick it up in, from Big Radials, uh, or alternatively, uh, it will be available uh, for uh, from the Microsoft Marketplace and for Xbox. Uh, those versions yep. are coming; they will be released. Uh, in the near future, when I mean, you know you should put a, 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 you should see if you can get a, um, an Xbox a, a Aviators Club put, what, a livery put in. There you go. That could that could be your your selling point of Microsoft yeah. in that way. <laughs> yeah, <maybe. laughs> We're also available on Orbex Direct uh, as well. I've, I've got to give kudos to our wonderful partners at, at Orbex, a, a great Australian company, um, supporting quality developers. And as a, yeah, you know, as a member of the community, Orbex was always my first stop for um, for quality uh, scenery, and to actually be partners with them now is uh, is pretty crazy. So I, I got to thank Ed and the team there uh, as well. Uh, go and give them some love, folks. They do some really nice stuff as well. Fantastic. Uh, alrighty, folks. So that is going to round out tonight's stream. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining us. I hope you've had a lot of fun, uh, well, at least as much fun as I've had, because this has been. Uh, I, I I absolutely love. Get, as I said, like I I love getting to see, uh, getting to actually fly. Uh, because <laughs> as, as Wookie was saying, uh, when, when a lot of it, you know, when we're developing, uh, we often don't get a chance to, 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 to spend time actually flying. Um, so I'm very grateful, very, very happy uh, that, uh, we were able to give you a chance to, to, to fly your creation, uh, here, there, uh, here, Mr. Wookie. Dude, I was, I was going to push you off to Thursday as well, cause I really wasn't feeling it this afternoon, but I thought, no. No, I'll make I'll make time for Nova because he makes time for me, and I'm so glad that I did. 
<laughs> well, I'm, I, as I said, I'm glad that you did. It's, it's, it's one of those things where, and, and I said, I've talked about it, that I, I, this is one of the reasons why I love streaming, uh, because, yeah, I, it gives me a, a chance to fly uh, and enjoy this one. So, uh, all right, folks, that is going to round out our stream for tonight. Uh, I was going to see if we could find uh, a Microsoft Flight Simulator stream, streamer to go join, but it seems that everybody is flying in X-Plane 11 and prepared tonight. And apparently claiming that they are flying in uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator. So unfortunately, uh, we're not going to do that. So instead, uh, we are going to be uh, we are going to be going to say hello to some purple dragons uh, by saying hello to Ziggy. Um, so just catching up with the chat here. Um, uh, so, so th no, no worries, Strayada. Glad you enjoyed the preview. Uh, Belgio, glad you enjoyed the stream. Uh, so, Strayada is picking up. Fantastic. Um, it's, 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 um, so, Master Break Deck, funny enough, there is a Connie out uh, from Redbird Simulations. I have not tried it, um, but uh, the community reviews seem to be a bit mixed, so I hope you enjoy it. Otherwise, folks, thanks very much for joining us. And again, thank you very much uh, to you, Oswald Key, for joining us as well. And for each and every one of you, thank you so much for taking your time out of your day to join us in virtual skies. I look forward to seeing a future in, in the future skies as well. For everybody who joined the community, welcome on board. Uh, and for the special shout out to the members who joined our gold standard frequent fly club as well. Thank you so much for your support. All right, folks, thanks very much for watching. Take care, safe skies to all, be amazing humans, stick around to see some purple dragons, and we will see you on the next stream. Bye for now.